Hi, Floss Tube. Hello, Floss Tube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching, Stitching, episode 270. Two 35 plus 35 plus 50 plus 50 plus 99 plus 1 is 270. Because math. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, people. It's been a while. Long time no chat. You know, we always, we, no, mm -mm. always writes the notes mm -hmm. beforehand. Don't crack up. But I wrote these notes only like Wednesday, so it wasn't that I know, long, but so. it was like. A lot has happened since Wednesday, though. Oh, remember yeah. that? That yeah. was a year and a half ago. Uh huh, yeah. Anyway, we're um, glad you stopped in and. Um, yeah. We have clearly a lot to talk about. We do. A lot to talk about. We do. And um, we're going to start off with talking about StitchCon mm -hmm. invoicing. Yeah. If this is um, something you are clearly not interested in, yeah. um, there is a fast forward or yeah. forward button. Sure. So, so maybe like five minutes. I would say no more than. Yeah. yeah. But we have to address... The StitchCon invoicing situation. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> hi. We're kind of silly. Hello, Because we're pretty exhausted. Yeah. So, I thought my pen was going to go across the room. So, um, hello. <laughs> so, this is, first and foremost, the big, the announcement to the, be made is that all of the first round of invoices have been sent as of yesterday at like 1230. Um, we haven't made any other social media posts about it. There will be one tomorrow more than likely. Um, but I talked to Barbara today um, and that letting you all know here on FlossTube was our first sort of way we wanted to get information out, um, and the best way. So, um, so what that means is that an invoice has been sent to the first 300 people on the wait list for each weekend. So a total of 600 spots have been invoiced. Okay. If you have not gotten an invoice, that means that you did not make the cut for the first round of invoices. There is my number one tip to remember is that there is a lot of time between now and next June. Now I understand that you want to know you got in and you want to pay the invoice and you want, you want your spot. I understand that, but it's quite a popular event and we had an overwhelming amount of folks put their name on the wait list, even in the first 10 minutes. First five minutes. So, please do not lose hope. Please do not freak out. Do not cry. It'll be all be okay. Um, if you did get an invoice and you have not, if you've already paid it, thank you so much. We love you. Um, if you have gotten an invoice and haven't paid it, no problem. You we, still, we love you too. Yeah, we love you too. You, um, you have a week to pay that invoice. You have a week from the day you received it, okay? All of the invoices that went out, that were scheduled to go out. So let me break this down for you. So the StitchCon wait list opened back the first Wednesday of September, right? A lot of people put their name on it. Fantastic. Then what I have done in the last month is that I have gone onto PayPal and I had scheduled... 600 invoices to go out on Wednesday, October 5th, which was invoice day, right? So when I say schedule, that means that it basically is all prepared. Everything is good to go. And then what PayPal does is on the date that I select, just automatically sends it. That is what was supposed to have happened. Invoices were created in order of when you put your name on the list in chronological order. So Mary Ellen Brown, who was the first person to put her name on the wait list. She filled the form out in 23 seconds. 
she got the first invoice that was scheduled. But at the end of the day, they all get sent out at the same time in a perfect world. That's what was supposed to happen on Wednesday. All the invoices were supposed to just from the StitchCon PayPal to your inbox at 7 a.m. Eastern. When I woke up at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, because that's what, 4 p.m. Pacific? Yeah. 4 a.m. Pacific? Yeah. I was like, I'm going to let these West Coast people sleep. <laughs> and then I'll start checking, making sure everything has gone off without a hitch. Well, guess what? There was a hitch. So every time an invoice gets sent, PayPal generates an email that gets sent to StitchCon that says, we sent your invoice number, da, da, da. So 600 emails were supposed to be in my inbox saying, we sent your invoice. I had about 120. And I'm like, great, where's the rest of them? Um, so then that's when the confusion started happening on my end. So this is like 8.30 in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. And I'm like, why is the rest of these not out yet? So then I go to an invoice that still says scheduled and I try to manually push it out and we got an error message when it gives me, gave me an error. And then there's like a link that said to fix this problem, click here. So then I clicked there and then it circled me back to the PayPal homepage. So there's some sort of glitch in the system. So that's when I called Barbara and she was able to talk to a real person at PayPal, and that's when we found out that it was not an us problem. Thank goodness. Uh, it was a PayPal problem because I was very worried it was I had done something wrong. And so to hear that was at least a little bit of reassurance for me. So the guy that we talked to at PayPal, we were under the impression that they were going to, you know, have it fixed by like the next day. And so then Thursday morning, I wake up early again and no invoices had been sent and none, 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 no other ones had left yet. So that's when we called PayPal again and we were hoping that they could just like from the back end of our account, like at PayPal headquarters, that they could like, I don't know, push the rest of them out. Like they can see what we're doing on our end and just say, okay, we'll just send them all. And, and they could not do that because the problem was still ongoing. And the problem was with mass invoicing. So over a certain number of invoices is when it's considered mass invoicing. I would guess that 600 would be considered mass. So, um, that is when I realized on the next day on Thursday that I could manually send them. It wasn't letting me on Wednesday. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to start manually sending them. And of course, when I, the easiest way to do it is in really no semblance of order. So it can, it lists them alphabetically. It lists, it, it doesn't list them in any sort of order, basically. So I'm just going, and of course it's not a simple like click to send. I have to open it, edit it, save it, send it ridiculous so that's four steps for each invoice so not to mention all the hours that you spent leading up to invoice day that you had all. spent scheduling each right. individual one right all that time all that time that really was wasted time i mean i don't know if it was necessarily wasted time well it didn't accomplish anything Correct. If it, you had known that this you, would be the problem, that this would happen, you would have not bothered or taken the time, yeah, to schedule them, right? Because it was last year, yeah, when we when did you this discovered whole same thing. you could schedule them, right? Correct. And you said to me, "This is oh amazing. my god, this is going to save me so much time. time. Like I won't have to be chained to my computer." Guess, Guess what? what? I've been chained to my computer, so that's great. Yeah. So, um, so on Thursday, then I just started manually sending them just boom, 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 boom. Let's get them out. Let's get them out. Let's get them out. Um, and I was able to send 150 invoices before I got the error message again. So that's great. 
And that's why we didn't, we weren't able to make a video on I Thursday. I mean, how would that look? Yeah, right, right. You it, know, Stephanie is apparently in full work mode. Work mode. Oh, but let's make a video. Yeah, no. I don't think so. No. So I didn't really, I didn't have any time to do a video either. So no, there was, there that's was no why. opportunity at all. And it, Correct. And it would be misleading to people who were anxiously waiting. Correct. Clearly. So my time and energy was focused on sending those invoices I was able to send on Thursday and then moving people who had paid their invoice from the invoice to the paid list, getting people approved into the Facebook group and doing all of that kind of stuff. So then Friday morning, I was scheduled to work. PayPal still had not solved the issue, was still unable to send out the remaining invoices. So I sit down at the computer and I start sending manual invoices manually again. Uh, by the end of day Friday, I was able to, they let me send randomly uh, 212. Pick so I think, I think that's the number. I could be wrong. I don't know. But anyway, bunch, another batch. Another bunch of them. Anyway. Yeah. So, um, then the remaining ones of them, I was able to send yesterday. So, um, I want to say th on behalf of myself, the StitchCon team, Barbara, Keepsakes, all of it, I cannot appreciate and say thank you enough for your patience and understanding. Um, no one was mean no one was angry. We had a, a few nervous and anxious people, which I understand. Um, but no one was mean, and I appreciate that. Yeah. So um, technology is great when it works. It's the worst when it doesn't. So um, do I know if the issue is resolved now? I have no idea. I'm not trying to send 600 more invoices. But um, so... Where do we go from here? So now that all, and I, I told Barbara and Pam, I was like, I'm, I don't want to make a floss tube video if I can't tell the people that all the first round of invoices has gone out. So that's where we're at. Um, so if you don't have your, in, don't have an invoice yet, like I said earlier, don't freak out. The ones that were sent have a week to be paid, and if they're not paid, they get canceled, and we pull someone else off the list. Yep. So, as for a due date of your invoice, I have on my end, in my notes, on my Excel spreadsheet, the date that your invoice was sent. I know whose invoice was sent on what date. Yep. So, therefore, I know I manually cancel invoices. It's not automatically canceled. By PayPal. Right. So don't worry if you got your invoice yesterday on a Saturday and it says it's due in four days. It's not. You have a full week. We will give everyone a full week to pay the invoice. Yes, of course. Right. So don't freak out about that. Um, and then once you pay your invoice, if you are on Facebook. Mm hmm you can request to join the StitchCon 2023 Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think we already have like over 250 members in the group already, which is great. Yeah. And if you request to join and you're waiting a bit to be approved, please continue to be patient. I have to like check you off of the right. list that you're in the group. Right. So there's that. Okay. Um, and then the... Third thing is hotel information. I know that people are very eager to make their hotel reservations. If you paid your invoice, yada, yada. With everything that happened this week with PayPal, we just have not been able to formulate a post in regards to the hotel information. And honestly, we were, we've been waiting on some numbers from another hotel. So anyway, that information will be posted next week. It will be posted in the StitchCon Facebook page, Facebook group, I should say. And it will also be posted on the StitchCon website. So those are the two places the hotel information will be. Okay. Information about the blocks, what hotels have blocks, the rates, blah, blah, blah. All the things. All the hotel information will be given out next week. So just hold out just a couple more days. 
Um, and I think that that makes sense given the week we've had. Um, and then if you are interested in knowing where you are on the wait list because you didn't get an invoice, you can send me an email that in the description box of this video, there is the StitchCon email address that Barbara and I manage. I am more than happy to look up to see where you are. It just might take me a minute because that's not high on my priority list. So I can get back to you and let you know probably within a day or two. So it just won't be immediate because I have other things I have to take care of. So um, you feel free. I'm happy to tell you what number you are. Um, so there's that. So I think that that is everything Stitch Comedy. That was much longer than five minutes. I apologize. Um, but, um, it's been a very long week <laughs> and, um, I'm just really happy that we finally got all of them out. So, um, that I got all of them out. So, um, yeah. So there's that. There you go. I think that that, does that sound like everything? Yep. Okay. Um, I think the hotel questions in the Facebook group of people who have paid and have been admitted to the Facebook group sure. are from people who've never been. Sure. Which is totally understandable. Absolutely. 100%. And the people who have been before past years are more or less addressing that. Just okay. saying, you know, wait for the blocks to be announced. Yeah. Perfect. Um, if... You were able to book at any of the hotels mm -hmm. based on what people have recommended to you who've been before. Yeah. That's great. Sure. Um, but um, there will be blocks eventually. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, this week is when we plan on announcing yeah. that stuff. So yeah. just sit tight just a little bit longer. We sure. appreciate it. Yeah. Um, so that is that information, I do believe. Yeah. So again, any – and my my personal plea – is that if you have StitchCon questions, yeah, like where am I on the wait list? I got one, but my best friend didn't. Where, like, where is she? Da 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 da. Any of those kind of questions, if you could please direct them to the StitchCon email as opposed to my personal accounts, that would be much appreciated. There you go. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. That way it can all be in one central place yep. and I can, because I have all of my StitchCon database and information on my laptop. So when I'm out at Kroger getting groceries, mm -hmm. I want to be able to answer you. Yeah. But I can't from Kroger. Correct. So if you message my Instagram account, I can't answer you. Right. Because I don't have my laptop at Kroger. Right. So. What is the email? The email is Barbara Keepsakes, all one word. All lowercase at gmail.com. Okay. And it's linked in the description box below. There you go. Barbara Keepsakes. Yep. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. From a Stitchcon perspective, of course. Okay. All right. Uh apologies to anybody who doesn't care yes. about Stitchcon, but we had to we had to address that. Absolutely. Okay. A long time ago in a land far, far, far away. away. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> We had a lovely visit. We did. From a couple of people who were uh, traveling to Ohio. Our soulmates. And um, they let us know quite a while yeah. ago that yeah. they were coming. Absolutely. And um, so I had it marked on um, my calendar uh -huh. that Michael and Allison, brother and sister, Yay. were coming to keep six. Yep. And um you probably heard you us might talk remember, about remember you might you probably don't though. But back when we were doing Common Threaded Stitcher mm -hmm. on Instagram, yeah. we did a live and we gave away a gift certificate mm -hmm. to Keepsakes. Sure did. And the winner, as it turned out, was Allison. It sure was. And so um that, that was, was great because we knew they were coming. Absolutely. So um I made a rare trip over to the shop 
because I needed to meet these people. If you're people. coming all the way from freaking California. If you're coming from California. I'm kidding. That's a pretty big deal. Yeah. They didn't come specifically to see us. They went to an OSU football game. They went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Their parents they, did they kind of did Ohio for for, for, what, it's uh, for what it's worth. True. And um so it was an absolute it an was. absolute delight. And um they uh, brought us gifts. Uh huh. Oh wait, that's mine. Yeah, they brought us gifts. And that Michael had stitched. Michael and Allison both stitch, as do their mom. Yes. And um, but I think Michael stitched these. Do you think Michael stitched both of them? I sure do. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, am I confident in that? Pretty, but. <laughs> so, um, I was presented with this adorable little. Framed initials. Isn't it so cute? And it's got a little kickstand. Kick so I love this. Yes. Thank you very much. Because what's your favorite color, Pam? My favorite color is blue. Look at that. They did inquire. They did. Ahead of time. We didn't know why. No idea. But this is why. Correct. And this is mine. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. It's so pretty. I love it so much. Yes. Yeah. So, um, you may recall, um, in our summer, um, tray yeah. back there, um, we had put a cute little anchor pillow that Michael stitched for me. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> um, and so, um, I don't know whether that'll balance on the top that the top of that printer is not completely flat. So. No. So I don't know if it'll... But we're going to put them there regardless. Yeah, let them rock. Let them rock. Back and forth. Let them rock and roll. So anyway... It's um, so cute. Yeah, so they came into Keepsakes. They spent some money. Yes. They visited with us. They met all the people that were there. Yes. Um, we chatted on the front porch for a bit. We sure did. It was just... Absolutely wonderful. It was just amazing. They're beautiful humans. And um, they're great folks and um and we're very much hoping that they get to attend StitchCon next summer yeah and um they were just bowled over by the state of ohio because it was so, so green. green yep they kept saying it's so green here so and they are really southern california folks they sure are absolutely so um that was lovely yes just lovely and um, we are going to insert a picture yeah. that we took of the four of us on the front porch of Keepsakes. Right. We'll insert that picture here. So, great to see them. Yes. Okay. And as you probably know, um, we did go to Needlework Galleria. We sure did. This year, sure did. We have gone, I think, uh, a total of four times. Yeah, I think so. Maybe there was a year there wasn't a gallery. Oh, twenty twenty. Kind of like two o two o. Yeah. Um, this year we rented a uh, SUV and mm -hmm. took two of our friends from Crockpot, sure Melissa, did. who is yep. a cupcake stitcher, yep. and Katie, yep, wife of Andy. Hi, Andy. Yep. Okay, so. Um, they had a ball. Um, we all yeah. had a ball. We had a great table. It was really awesome. And um, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about Galleria and show you sure. the haul we brought back. Sure. But we had a great table. We sat yeah. with the boss stitchers. Yes. And we sat with um, three other great gals. Um, we we kept I kept joking around. It sounded like a law firm. Jessica, Jessica, and Jordan. Oh, that's funny. It and, does sound like a law firm. And also um, Carol. Yes. So um, w it was a great table. It was. It was lovely. Had a great time. Saw lots of folks we knew. Met some new folks and um, had a really great time. Had a really great time. Yeah. So this video today is basically the video that we would have made on Thursday had we made a video. Yes. So we cut out some things for Thursday's video, which we are going to cut out in today's video. Yes. Um, but we'll be back with a regularly scheduled video next week on Sunday. Yes. So. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to find, find the thing. this. No? Nope. It's in there. I put it in there. This. There it is. Okay. So um, I <laughs> wanted to... Um, Mention an email that I got. Yes. Um, you know, we've had Spiritwear 
um, made in the past as a fundraiser. Exhibit A. And we have a viewer who lives in the UK mm -hmm. who does a tremendous amount of traveling around the world. Yes, absolutely. And um, for fun, she ha her name is Allison as well. Mm -hmm. And she has went, she's been on a huge trip. Um, she has had her picture taken in her Pam and Steph shirt, her Just mm -hmm. Keep Stitching shirt. Mm -hmm. And it's just been a blast to see where she ends up wearing our shirt. Um, and she sent, it's like we get to travel with her. Right. She sent an email uh, back on the first of the month, mm -hmm. and she said that, uh, well, she said a lot. <laughs> True. Yes. She said a lot, and it was wonderful mm -hmm. because um, she talked about some future travel plans that she has. Um, one of the places that she's been in the past has been, wait for it, the Himalayas. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> so our shirt has been... We went to the Himalayas, you guys. To the Himalayas. Pretty wild. And she is actually getting ready to um, go in a group. I mean, I'd take a group. Our shirt is going to be at Mount Everest Base Camp. You guys are going to climb a mountain. Yes, you heard that right. We're going to climb a freaking mountain. The main reason for her email, aside from all of her travels and... And fun things like that is she wanted us are you ready are you ready she wanted us to give out a special hello yes and uh, I believe in the UK they say <laughs> mom and I mom. just love it yes and her mom has had a little uh, medical uh, issue lately. situation yeah and uh, her name is Margaret Watkins. Margaret Watkins. And she lives in Shropshire. Shropshire. Yeah. Yes. Shropshire. So, we would like to say, say hello. hello to Margaret. Hello, Margaret. Hello, Margaret. And we hope that you are... What a fine day to see you. <laughs> we hope that you are recovering. Yes. And we understand that you are a viewer as well, and we sincerely appreciate... Yes. Um, we'll be right over for crumpets and tea. That's right. Thank you so right. much. Right. So, yes. So, get ready. Yes. Um, she said um, that her mother would sincerely appreciate it, and there you go, Margaret. Absolutely. We, Absolutely. We want you to get well quick. Yes, that's what we do. say here. Yes, we're you know both. get well quick, Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, um, stay tuned for more um, Instagram pictures. Uh, we of might Allison. share of Allison's uh, travels, yes. her hiking and so forth, um, wearing our shirt because we need a picture of her at the base camp. No kidding, absolutely no kidding. All right, well, here we are. How many minutes in? Uh, Thirty minutes in. Okay. And so, da, 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 da. have we covered sure. everything? Uh, yes. So now we're going to do our two regular intro segments. Half an hour in, which is... Let's talk about stitching. Nope. Nope. Pam. Oh, we forgot. Oh, no, God. we did not forget. I you forgot. forgot. I Thank forgot. you so much. Yeah. Let's do a hashtag, shall yes. we? Let's do a hashtag. So, Whew. our fun. hashtag... <sighs> Here in Just Keep Stitching Land is hashtag Stitch Harmony, okay? And we have not one but two for you this week. I know we normally just do one, but right. we want we have two very, yes. very, very good ones. So, yeah. And we have never done two, but there's a reason, and yes. you'll get it. Yes, so. <clears throat> we'll do um, this one first. Okay, so Stitch Harmony is our attempt at connecting stitchers together. Yeah, you excited? I yeah. Am. Okay, good. This is very excited. Um, so, Stitch Harmony is our attempt at connecting stitchers together. So, if you are someone who cross stitches and you do not have a friend that you can call upon to come over and hang out and cross stitch and watch Just Keep Stitching With, and you would like us to help find you a friend to stitch with, mm -hmm. we would love to help you do that. That's right. So, um, to be entered to be one of the Stitch Harmony featured commenters. Mm -hmm. We just need you to comment on the video, use the hashtag Stitch Harmony, and then uh, we pick someone every week and share them with you guys in hopes of finding them a friend. 
So before Pam completely comes out of her skin, <laughs> who is our first determining feature commenter, okay. Pam? Now this came via email, so I know that's an exception, oh, but Pam. it'll be worth it. All right, so the email subject line read, hashtag Stitch Harmony, mm -hmm. New Delhi, India. Wow. Okay. All the bananas. Are, are you still... Are you still with us? Yeah, of course. Now, should I read the whole thing, except for this address? Um, uh, sure. All right, so this is what okay. Kathy, Kathy wrote. Kathy with an I on the end. <clears throat> Dear Stitch Harmony. I love that. Stitch Harmony's a person. Did yes, you know it is. that? Ladies, I have a, I have I got a challenge for you. There you go. My name is Kathy. I am an American who is living and working in New Delhi, India. Yes. I arrived two and a half years ago, just before the pandemic began. Oh. When all of our expat colleagues were evacuated, I stayed in Delhi, along with two others, to keep the home fires burning. Oh. Since then, I have enjoyed learning about the Indian culture, discovering interesting places in the city, and solo travel to see sites such as the Taj Mahal, yeah. Taj Mahal, the Golden Temple, and the Himalayas. Pinch me. I never would have dreamed at age 62 I would be having these experiences. However, dot, 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 dot. I miss having a group of local stitching friends. I wonder if your viewership may know of anyone in my area who is looking for someone to stitch with. And then she gave her address, and it is New Delhi, India. Let's throw it out there and see if you have viewers in New Delhi. And then this note is important to add. She said, on a personal note to Pam, Steph, and all the floss tubers who take the time to film videos, you never know who you are touching by your contributions. Although I do not feel lonely in New Delhi, I believe when I discovered floss tube, it has made a difference to me and mm. it is fun seeing you and others each week to see what you are working on you put a smile on my face thank oh, you isn't that sweet so for those of you who never took world geography <laughs> um so i, I actually like, did, I, I put in like her exact address yeah um and i think it's like it's around a lot of the other embassies ah okay so um so that's like the Panama Embassy and okay. the whole. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So the Ukraine Embassy. Um, I'm just zooming out, so I'm seeing the other ones. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. So I think that this is some sort of a. Yeah, I think it's a rail. Yeah, it's a train. Okay. So, because um, I know. Shocking, but I don't, um, I don't speak whatever language it is they speak in India. So I apologize mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Come on, Google. All right. So I just don't want the red dot to go away. Okay. Really? I'm so sorry. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. So that is Delhi, New Delhi. Is it Delhi or Delhi? It's Delhi. Okay. And that red dot is Chris, is Kathy. Kathy's. Kathy. Yeah. Is where Kathy, the address Kathy gave us. Right. So this purple... This purple line here is a rail. Yeah. So she's right off of that, which is really convenient. Right. The, maybe the purple line, because it's purple. Um, but then, just, you know, for all of you people who are wondering where in God's green earth is. There you go. That is India, mm -hmm. Pakistan, Nepal, and that is Kathy. Yeah. So, if you live in, around, nearby, within driving distance... Or train. train ride away from New Delhi, India, and you 
would like a stitching friend named Kathy, please comment below and say, Hi, Kathy! My name is, insert name here, I live in around nearby within driving distance or a train ride away from New Delhi, India, and I would love to stitch with you. Wonderful. So, that is challenge number one. Right. Challenge so, number one. Challenge number two, Pam. Challenge number two is um, another Stitch Harmony requester, and we had several, probably because it's been a while since we made a video. Yes. So, what I always say is don't give up. Yeah, if we um, don't pick you, then try again next Submit again, week. Okay. please. Thank you so much. Okay, now this one comes to us from a lovely gal named Christy Hales. Yes. Hi, Chris Christy. Christy with a K. Right, and she wrote, hashtag Stitch Harmony, hello from the soon-to-be-frozen north. <laughs> I am a new cross-stitcher in Wasilla, Alaska. Yeah! I began cross-stitching last winter. So she hasn't been stitching very long. The snow is creeping down the mountains and it will be here any moment. Any moment. So stitching gives me a nice winter hobby. Sure does. I am curious if you have any Alaskan viewers. I have called every quilting shop in Alaska and can't find anywhere to buy floss or patterns as far as an L&S. Oh, man. Add to cart hits too close <sighs> to home. Thanks for the fun videos. Pam and Steph, I would love to meet you someday and visit Keepsakes. Oh, my goodness. So, wow. From one side of the world to the, the other, other, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You guys, look at this frame. Yeah. This, this place just looks gorgeous, you guys. Yeah. Let's all go to Wasilla. Yeah. Look oh, you guys, let's go tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Wasilla, Alaska. Okay, so I'll show you the whole situation here. God, Alaska's big. Isn't <laughs> Alaska big? Okay, so there is the giant state of Alaska. Okay. Let's zoom in a bit. There's just the state of Alaska. The red dot is obviously Christy. Yeah. So then let's zoom in. It is outside of Anchorage. And the knick arm, whatever that is. Um, so, my pointer here. So, there is Anchorage. There is Wasilla. Ah, okay. And. I didn't realize it was as close to Anchorage as that. Yes, it is. So, okay. that is Wasilla, Alaska. Right on Route 3, it looks like. Um, and, I, wow, I don't know where in God's screen how you would get there, well, other than drive, I know, obviously. I know people who have gone on Alaska cruises, and they say there are some places that you can only get to by a certain methods of transportation. So, huh. that's as much as I know about Alaska. So, I was telling Pam, um, when she found this Sit Harmony, that I'm pretty sure that was the Wasilla, Alaska was a town on one of those like nine one rescue nine one one shows. Mm -hmm. And I read it and I was like, that sounds awfully familiar. Mm -hmm. So it's a really, really, really good show. Um <laughs> but and that so now I will, now I will always think of you, Christy. When I watch the show. Right. So, if your ears perked up because you live in around nearby within driving distance of Wasilla, Alaska, and you would like to stitch with Christy, our sweet Christy, mm -hmm. then please comment below and say, Hi, Christy. My name is, insert name here, I live in around nearby within driving distance of Wasilla, Alaska, and I would love to stitch with you. Now, it is up to both of you girls, Kathy and Christy, it is up, up to both of you. To read through the comments on this video, see if anyone has reached out to you, and then you guys can start conversations there, and hopefully you guys can, you know, meet up and sit together. Right. So, both New Delhi and Wasilla Stitchers unite. unite. Exactly. Exactly. And that Ooh. was a very exceptional Stitch Harmony. We typically only pick one. Yes. So we will go back to picking one next, next week. week. Okay. 
Got to blow the dust off it, you know. That means it's time for Pam's Pen Comment. Sure does. And Pam's Pen Comment is the one comment of all the comments after last time's video. I can't even say last, last week's. Last week's, yeah. Um, that, you know, tickle my fancy. Yes, ma'am, sure does. And this week's, um, stitch, whoops, this week's Pam's Pen Comment. Yep, not stitch. Came to uh, us from Deborah Allwart. Hello, Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Thanks for commenting. Yes. This is what she wrote. She said, my friends, I must correct you. Deborah, you know, when you start a comment like that, my heart rate goes through the ceiling. Because I'm thinking, what, what did we screw up now? We screw up now? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's not like a big deal. We're but perfect most of the time. Yeah, most so. of the time. So anyway, but this is what Deborah wrote. She said, my friends, I must correct you. you well, at least she still considers us friends. Babe. I know, I know. You say that the Hirschner's books are under $5. And we did. <laughs> but there is more to the story. There is. I added the two books to my cart. But that seemed like a small purchase considering the shipping cost. Yeah, because they're big heavy books. So I saw a few other things. Dot, dot, dot. <sighs> because efficiency is a respectable thing, right? Mm -hmm. Seven hundred dollars later. That's insane. Okay, not that bad. But let's say I have now spent my April to October twenty twenty seven budget. Oh my gosh, that's hysterical. <laughs> so, Deborah, glad you found Hershner's. Yeah, absolutely. I bet, bet Hershner's. Hershner's is glad too. I bet Hershner's it. is glad you found the website. Absolutely. All right. Okay. So. Finally? Yes. Let's talk about stitching, shall we? Well, you know what, Pam? We shall. Okay. Okay, so the last time we saw you, it was not. A, it was a different month. Yeah. It's a different right. month. Different month in terms of work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, right. Exactly. So, um, my second whip go. <clears throat> Did you ask me what I've been stitching on? I didn't. Stephanie, what have you been stitching on, Stephanie? But I usually don't say my name twice, but I'll forgive it. Oh. So, <laughs> Stephanie, what have you been stitching on, Stephanie? <laughs> Pamela, I don't know, Pamela. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me started. Okay, fine. We have laughed too much this afternoon. Too much laughter. Um, okay. And I didn't even get home until 5.30. Right. Um, okay, so... My second WIPCO poll for the month of September was... The Pink Sparrow Sampler from With a Needle and Thread. And um, I am happy to say that I met my goal for September, which was to work on this for five days. And I am using all of the called for threads. And as for the fabric, you know, I would lo really love to tell you. <laughs> I know it's 40 count color and cotton. I think it's called Garden Path. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, that's great. Glad you know, Pam. Um, and it, sounds it does. It does. So, um, it's the same color that you stitched yeah. or are stitching the thing from Summer House on. Yeah. So, I had a, a goal. I took this to Galleria with me and um, so I could finish up working on it in those last few days of September. And... Um, my goal was to get that middle bird situation complete. And I'm happy to say that I did. So, look at that pretty birdie. Now, I have a question. Oh, no. Does, does that look pink to you? Does the bird look pink to me? Uh-huh. Uh, no, but there the whole bird itself is not pink. But there's he's she's got little pink features. Okay. On the top and the bottom of. Okay. Yes. Okay. So the bird is not supposed to be pink. I don't mean to be a killjoy or anything, but I don't give a crap that the bird <laughs> isn't pink. <laughs> I almost didn't say crap. So <laughs> I just maybe it's just supposed to be pink sparrow sampler. Yeah. Because there's lots of pinks in the Exactly. Sampler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just the sparrow herself. Correct. Okay. So, I think it's gorgeous. Look at my cross stitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 
I very much enjoy stitching on that. And I have to say that every time I stitch on this in public, so I, I stitched on it at Galleria, obviously, yeah. like I said, and um, I get so many lovely comment, compliments. So thank you all mm -hmm. for such saying yeah, such it's nice beautiful. things. It's really quite a masterpiece. Wow. Well, it quite, really is. That's quite a statement, PL. I appreciate that. No, it is. Um, it's and, one of the prettier ones you've ever done, I think. Can you, I mean, I can, you can continue. <laughs> um, okay, and then I don't... So by the time we left for Galleria, the polls for October had already come, okay? So I knew what I was scheduled to work on for October. So yeah. that's great. Love that for me. But I still had some... I Like, my goal was to finish the bird and then be done with it. Because by the time I'd reached that point, I'd already met my five-day goal for the sample. Anyway. Right. So... Um, I had brought a couple others, and by a couple, I mean like 12 other whips <laughs> <laughs> that I was like, you know, these are ones I would like to work on. You just want to have them within reach. You know, I just, I don't know how, what mood I'm going to be in, uh -huh. truly. Oh, I get that. So I'm like, well, these 10 will go well. So, plus they all go in one bag, so who we the heck really? We from Wednesday to Sunday, and she brought 10. 12. 10. Well, I don't know if I brought 12. I don't. I didn't count them. Oh, okay. Uh, but as I was rifling through my whips, I had them all out on the table. That's right. And I was like, that's weird. I don't, that. Yep. Um, yeah, that's weird. Um, and I'm like, look at this pretty project um, that I had made for me by quilting Grimalkin. How freaking cute is that? Adorable. Um, and so this is what I ended up working on. So this is Mary and Bright from Pineberry Lane. And this is on my Whipco board. So at some point this will be called in either November or December. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't mean that I can't work on it in the in-between. Mm -hmm. So that's right. Um, that's what I did. You know, it was just, it was small. It was, you know, didn't feel like it was too much. So, I worked on it for basically all of Galleria, for the majority of Galleria. Mm -hmm. um, and even a few days when we got home, because I was really enjoying it. And it this is stitched on 40 count. It's literally a mystery green fabric. I have no idea what the name of it is. Mm. And it is from Fiber on a Whim. Okay. I do know that much. And I'm using all of the called for threads because this originally was released <coughs> as a quaint country ladies club kit from Country Sampler in Spring Green, Wisconsin. Um, and the very sweet Lisa from Kindred Stitcher let me borrow, or she forwarded this chart to me uh, after she stitched it. So, um, in the time since, it is now out for the masses to purchase. So, you can have um, either your needle workshop or keepsakes, buy it for you. Or order it for you and then you can buy it. <laughs> I should say that. So, um, <laughs> we're not giving away for free, okay? Um, so, this is where I'm at. It's so freaking cute, you guys. I love it so much. So, I did the entire girl in red at Galleria, along with the candy canes over on that side. Um, the girl in red? I thought that was supposed to be me. Pardon me, Pam. The woman in red. Little in red. Um, <laughs> so, that's Pam. Because you kept saying, Pam, look at how pretty your I was just is. trying to be kind by calling you a girl, but whatever, Pam. It's fine. Okay, fine. So, um... So Pam, who is the lady in red, <laughs> I stitched her at Galleria. Um, me, who's the girl in green with the pink apron, that was already done and the tree was already done. But everything else has been done since Galleria. So I feel pretty good about that. You should. I know. So, um, so I looked at my Whipco board and... Um, the goal for this is to finish it whenever it gets called. So I'm sure as heck glad that I pulled it out at Galleria because I don't know if I would have been able to finish that in one sitting. 
Like not cool. one sitting, but like in one month, you know. Yeah, good. And if it's not going to get pulled to freaking December, um. So that was the second thing so I bought. So that's called Mary and Bright. Mary and Bright by Pineberry Lane. Got it. And then the third thing that I've been stitching on was one of my October Whipco poles. Um, and it is, I have to open the chart so you can see it. In all things be exceedingly diligent by New York Press. So, that is the sampler. And I started this last October. Um, and when I picked it back up for Whipco, there was just one strand of floss in it. And it was the letter... A. And that was it. That's all I had done. So the goal for this is to work on it for five days. I already have one day down. Um, and that is how much I have done. And so uh, I think it was Tuesday evening was the last regular season Boston Red Sox game. Right, so the right, right, right. the season baseball season is over for us. Yep. Um I mean I'm still gonna pray to the baseball gods that the Yankees get kicked out and don't win the World Series. Yeah. Because that's what we do. Right. But um so I decided that night that I was stitching um to stitch all of the bees yep. for Boston. So Oh oh that's cool. Yeah. Because B was the next letter, and then I yeah. was like, you know what? I'm just going to do all the Bs. Neat. So I am stitching this on um, with all of the call for DMC in um, on 40 count winter woolens from Seraphim. Oh, nice. And it is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful fabric to stitch on. Yep. And I really like stitching on it. So cool. Um, and. I'm keeping it in this 8x8 Q snap, so I'll probably just like stitch whatever's in this window and then move over and yada yada yada. So, excellent. All right, that's what I've been doing. Meanwhile, Pam, who is not responsible for sending out 600 invoices, I'm just here for moral support. Yes. I kept offering, I kept saying, if there's anything, anything, I can anything do. at all I can do to help. And, and I she said, kept saying, nope. If you can grow me an extra pair of arms yeah, yeah. or fly to California and fix the PayPal problem, that'd be great. Yeah. Other than yeah. that, it's a one woman job. Right. And that woman is me. Yeah. So that's what it is. <clears throat> one person job. Yeah. Pam, what have you been doing with your life, really, truly? <laughs> I've been stitching. Yeah, have you? Yeah. That's great. So um I took this with me to Galleria because I knew it was called for October and I'd already met both my September goals. Um, more on that in a minute. Mm. Um, so I took Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow, which is this. Many, many people have stitched it. I hope to be one of them. Um, this is probably one of my oldest whips. You're so funny, babe. I hope to be one of them. You're going to finish it. Oh, yeah. But, um, the, you know, I finished my Christmas in the Adirondacks was clearly my oldest oh one, yeah right mm -hmm. so a couple of people said okay so what's your next oldest and one that i think is pretty old because i know what was going on around the time i started with the idea of how i was going to lay it out are all the brooks books wizard of oz characters yeah that was for yeah. stephanie which is still a whip okay so that's pretty old when i originally got this chart Steph had just started stitching yeah. and was still stitching on 28 and 32 primarily, mm -hmm. which she no longer is. Yeah. And we had kind of thought that we would stitch this together. We would divvy up the blocks and each of us would do a witch. Isn't that cute? Wasn't that a cute idea? Cute idea. Okay, it went away. Yeah. Because she started stitching on higher counts and um, wasn't particularly interested in that original plan. Correct. But that tells me it's a pretty old whip. 
Yeah. And I even said to Steph um, the last two or three days, I think I'm going to put this on my WIPCO board for 2024. 2023. Three. Three. Maybe more than once. Mm -hmm. To just... So you can land on it. Because um, Memphis Era E Mm -hmm. also has it as a whip. And in her latest video, she said um, she could work on her Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow steadily. And she's on the block ahead of, uh, behind me. So, um, and I thought to myself, I agree. I could stop everything. Mm-hmm. And just work on this steady. But yeah. um, I have That's a lot so of other great. things. So oh when gosh. I picked this up for Whipgo, I had completed five squares. And it was time to start on the center panel, which is the two witches and the cauldron. Yep. And I still have, I believe, I have another week left. And oh, yeah, sure. When, <clears throat> when I picked it up, I think I had... The very first bat, yes, um, in the square, and this is where I am. So, um, that under the C block was super fun, yeah. I enjoyed that, yeah. And then, um, because holy cow, I remember starting this first block. With the spider webs up in the corner. And that was oh, at a Tierra retreat. It was. I was going to say that was a minute ago. Bro. And you had not been stitching very long. It was my first retreat, which was the fall of 2017. There you go. So it's been a minute. Hit right? me with the facts. So let me fold it so you can see this witch uh, that I've been working on. Um, yeah, we need to see the witch. Because it's absolutely fantastic. So cute. So cute. It's a blanket, folks. So, mm-hmm. so here she is. And Look at her cooking up trouble. Yeah. So you can see, and we were watching, I remember we were watching the baseball game Tuesday night, and I was working on her arms, I think. Yeah. And um, that dress is spectacular. It will be duplicated by the other witch. They are dressed identical. Yep. Identical and twins. This pumpkin just just pops, man. I am using all the Call for DMCs with one exception. I am using Anchor 403 for the black. Mm. I think Sarah is using a silk mm. for, because it's um, got more fibers to it and it gives you better coverage. I'm getting great coverage with the 403 mm. Anchor yeah. and went ahead and ordered four or five more skeins of it from one, two, three. Fantastic. Because there's obviously going to be a lot more black in Absolutely. this. And I think I'm on my last skein that I bought in the original oh, no. purchase. And oh, Keepsakes no. does not carry anchor. So yep. I went ahead. So I'm right on the edge of the cauldron, which yep. has got a lot of fire under it. And I'm looking a lot of forward fire. to a lot of fire. doing all the orange flames that are coming up around the cauldron. So this fun. is a fun, fun stitch. I am stitching this on 32 count autumn. By Under the Sea Fabrics. And I am thrilled with my choice. Mm -hmm. So, um, I am having a ball with this. Very much. Having a great time. Well, isn't that wonderful, Pam? Yeah. And I don't have my project bag over here. So, you're just going to have to set it over there. Yeah, that's right here. I got you, girl. And... um, <clears throat> the other thing that I more or less caught up on was my temperature drink chart. And that is from Christie's Corner on Etsy. Lots of folks are showing their temperature charts. Um, <laughs> yeah, because we're getting towards the end of the month here, people. Because we're and all happy having... that the year is uh, getting into different temperatures. Very exciting. All of us who um, have been stitching lots of reds. All summer long. Yeah, are ready to to change. Right. So I finished up. Did I say this last time that it felt funny to work on this when I wasn't here? You did. That sounds weird, I guess, but that's how I felt. It does sound weird, but it's whatever. So I finished up 
look at that green. Look at that green. September. That's the tail end of September right there. Look at it. Stephanie's pointing. Uh -huh. And I started uh -huh. on October. Stupid orange. And, well, actually, orange is, let's see, no. No, yellow <laughs> is cooler. Than orange, yes. Yeah. So, but you're going to have some cool ones coming up. But. And Very I work excited. on this, I catch up every Friday. So I okay. do seven glasses every Friday. Okay. And um, so this is Sunday. So I think I'm caught up as a Friday. Cool. Yeah, there's six glasses there. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are. So I worked on this Friday and obviously didn't know the high temperature for that day. Cool. So. Um, Excellent. This is super fun. Um, yeah, it just looks so cool. And October is going to have a huge skull. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> I think it's in profile. Spooky, spooky. Yeah, it is. And it is, is it on the 31st? It's actually... On the 29th, okay. or between the 29th and the 30th. It's just on the shelf. It's on the shelf October. near the end of October. Yeah, you know. There you go. Thank you so much. Oh, here's the thing. Thank you so much. I got you. Okay. Next. Next is just a start because it's October. Right. And if you recall, Stephanie, uh, for Christmas last year... Um, kit it up. How many did you kit up? Probably about eight, eight six projects, or eight. Yeah, six, six or eight. Or eight. Might yeah. have been more than that. Uh, projects for oh, me gosh. for Christmas, like found charts in my chart stitch. collection that she said all year. Oh, I want to stitch that. Right, right, right. Oh, I got to stitch that, and then so, I take notes on here. So I that. took all of those kitted up projects and I plugged them in different places throughout the year, and oh. this one obviously had to be plugged in for October. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. So, no, apologies needed. This is from two... Did they give a year? Yeah, on the inside, I thought. Don't know. Cricut Collection number 331, and it is October. October. Yeah. Yeah. One of my favorite part. What's your favorite part, Pam? What's my favorite part yeah, of the design? Yes. Because there's a lot going on. What's your, um, what's your favorite part? Boy, I don't know. Come on, you know you have a favorite. Um, I think I kind of like this um, angel's wings and the tombstone, if mine, I had to pick. Mine is... Show them, Pam. See the little freaking tombstone? Yeah. My favorite part is that cat, the fat one, with the stripes on his tail. Okay. Because it reminds me of Mosey. Okay. So, um, this is, was kitted up by Steph at Keepsakes. Did I? And it is on chocolate milk from Fabrics by Stephanie. Fabrics by Stephanie. Did I get you the silken colors for the letters? Uh-huh. Yep. So, the call yeah, for did. is DMC. <laughs> you should show that. Um, the call for is the silken colors. Yeah, but the rest are DMCs. Oh, yeah, yeah. But the letters are done in... Here, here we go. Nope, nope. I'm trying to grab them. Where'd they go? There's a lot of... Yeah, there's a whole heck of a lot. A lot of colors. Oh, is this it? Yeah. So this... They're so pretty. See, you can see the variation. variegation. Yeah. And I haven't gotten to that part yet. Well, of course not. But these are the silken colors, and Woods it is gold. called Woods of Gold. <sighs> and each color in the word October. Is you guys are so pretty. So pretty, yeah. And the rest is DMC. And like I said, it's um, on chocolate milk from Steph. And um, I did a center start on this because yep. I didn't want to take a chance that I wasn't measuring correctly. And so I started, oh, did here. I put it back again? With the O. With the O, in the actually. Middle. Octo. So it's the house in the middle of the O. Got it? 
Yep. Okay. Sure do. So this is where I am. Look Looks really, really good. That fabric There's is good, more, Steph. There's good job, more Steph. to this than you would think. Oh, heck There's yeah. There's little um, uh, quarter stitches around the house. And the chimneys are blue. The door is red. Um, I just love Cricut Collection. Um, Vicki Hastings is one of the main yeah. designers. Yeah. Uh, maybe the only one left. Yeah, she's um, so good. And, you know, I got thinking when I was stitching this, Come that, on, you know, this is one of those bulwark designers in the industry. What does that word mean? That means that they what, are... What, say, say the word again. Bulwark. Bulwark? B-U-L-L-W-A-R-K? Vocabulary with Pam and Steph. Bulwark. It's just me, foundational, right? The Cricket Collection. Cross-eyed Cricket. Foundational to... Like Perry Schooler. Like Prairie Schooler, and and several others. I'm not necessarily singling out, but you know what? Aside from a fan Facebook page, yeah, they don't have a social media presence. They do not have a social media presence hardly at all. And isn't that saying something that they don't feel the need for? And that's understandable because their archive is amazing, just amazing. Oh, please. What do you Bulwark. Doing? Bulwark. All right, Bulwark. What's, the, what's the definition? One, a defensive wall. Okay, well. Number two, an extension of a ship's sides above the level of the deck. Well, that's not going to work. Uh, I should have used the word foundational. That well, means look at Look at the use over time of the word <laughs> It doesn't. It slopes steadily downward. <laughs> Except in this house. Except in this house. Okay. Well, anyway. A solid wall-like structure raised for defense. I don't. I used it wrong. I used it incorrectly. It's okay. But it's sounded. But like, it sounds foundational. Foundational. So. A wall. A foundation. Let's move. We on. can move on. Yeah. <laughs> from, from bulwark. Holy. So. Um, video is already long enough. Let's see. So that's, yeah, those are the three whips. Yeah, okay, wow, sorry. Thought there were more. You're not prepared. I, well, I was too busy looking up the definition of bulwark, Pam. <laughs> you really want to know. Right. Okay, so. Wow. Wow. Those are our whips of the week. Plus some few days. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for a while. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's right. What do you suppose that sound is? Well, Pam, I know what the sound is, but do the people know? The people should know that that is the sound of the bell getting ready to ring. Yes. So, uh, and we ring the bell around here for finishes. We sure do. And um, we spring the bell for Pam's finishes because I don't finish anything because I don't have time to stitch. <laughs> Anyways, you hoozy. Um, one of my whip go goals for <laughs> September. What's so funny? It is burnt. Oh, I didn't hear it. Uh, okay, hear well, it? they'll hear it. Oh, okay. I Excuse hear it. me. Thank you. I didn't hear it. Was um, Little House Needleworks, Heart of America. Yeah, and America. when did this come out? America. 2000, it says 2008 to 2020. Correct. So it was released in 2008 originally and was exclusive and had a threat back. And then it was stopped being made. And then they re-released a chart only in 2020. She's a font of information. <laughs> a font. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, what is a font? Like a font? <laughs> like oh, continue oh, talking while I look this up. So this is the chart. Heart of America. How do you spell that? F A U N T? Not a font, a fount. <laughs> Part of me. F O U N T. Okay, go. Okay, while well, she's learning new words. <laughs> <laughs> a source of desirable quality or commodity. A source. Our courier was a font of knowledge. Not yeah. a font, a fount. Fount. Excuse me, fount. Font is right. Fount. Fount. Yep, that's okay. me. All right. So, would you like to see my finish? Yeah, let's do that instead of let's, being English for us. Yeah. 
So, um, I think I mentioned to you that this this fabric is stiff as a board. It's almost as stiff as, like, as if it were What Ada. is it almost as stiff as, Pam? Ada. Oh, okay. I mean, really stiff Ada, but we now have Not, so not in soft hand Ada. Ada. Yeah. Yeah, we now have soft Ada. Oh, boy. Okay. God bless America. Here God <laughs> bless America. Um, this what? is very, very lovely. It I'm is. very, very happy with this. This will be probably um, framed fairly soon. Uh, yeah. Um, very pleased with the way it came out. I did put the buttons on that. Look were, at that little sheepy. Yeah. The sheep is a button. The acorn is a button. Yep. And the uh, crow, crow is a button. And the stars at the bottom. Bottom. The bottom. Buttons. The bottom. Our buttons. Yeah. It's so pretty, Pammy. And I even pressed it before I put the she buttons sure on. She sure did. I put the buttons on on the ironing board. My ironing board and I have not seen each other probably in four years. But really? I pressed that for you. For you, I just people. Want you to know. Because it wasn't for me. No. And this is on what's a fabric? Holy cow! Summer khaki. Could be. What's the call for? The call for is creek bed brown. It's not, not that. that oh. No. Creek bed brown. So I don't know. It's a, a it's a pretty stiff fabric. Yeah. Let me tell you. Yes, it is. So that was one of my goals was to finish that. I seriously, when I started it, I thought I bit off more than I could chew, right? But but I believed in her. I I powered through. Okay, and um, ring the bell, Pam. Thank you so much. Okay, and then um, I'm hosting a sale for the American Trilogy series of three from Twin Peak Primitives. Yes, and um, this is the first of the three, Lady Liberty. Yep, we have a Facebook group. Come and join us. Yes, get the patterns, they're amazing. Yes, and I finished Lady Liberty. And I finished this right after getting home from Galleria. Yes. Um, Katie kept saying at our table at Galleria, she said, you're going to finish that before we go home. And I thought to myself, I'm not that confident. And then when I got home and I got down to the final few stitches, I went, ooh, I got to put the stars in the flag. Oh, yeah. And I had decided that I would use white petite beads from Mill Hill for the stars oh. and i am very happy with my decision oh uh, yeah it looks really thrilled great. with my decision so this is lady liberty from twin peak primitives on light mocha light mocha i believe Sorry, if you count. yeah so there she is there she is yep through the night with the light from above and uh, the only substitution I made was in the skyline yeah, color, right which is also duplicated in the New York 1886 banner. Yeah. So I had to substitute because of the fabric I chose. So you're and not, then, what, you're obviously not doing all three of them together. No, I'm doing them separately. So does it bother you that the border is only on two sides? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's fine. It does. So it doesn't bother you. It doesn't bother okay. me. It's fine. Um, and there are my Mill Hill Petite Treasure Brick. No, p Petite Beads. Yeah. Not petite glass beads, beads. Petite yeah. Glass Beads. All in a row. Yeah. Uh, five right. rows of seven, I think. Sure. Which isn't 50, but it's 35, and that's enough. There you go. Oh, there you go. Okay. So, yes. that I've um, pulled all my threads, and I'm ready to start this coming week on... Oh, boy. Liberty Bell, 1776. That's exciting, Pam. It is. And um, that is going to go on the same fabric yes. as um, this one, as the third one will is also it? be on the Perfect. same fabric, which we'll Perfect. need to get more of. Yeah. Because okay. um, somehow. I, I think know a place you can get some. The original plan to put them on all, all three on one piece Um was abandoned because I don't have enough wall space for another big, big piece that, oh. that would more or less stay up all yeah. year. So. Gotcha. Beautiful. Yep. Yeah. So. Alrighty. So. 
Happy, Happy finishes, finishes, everyone. Okay. Promotions. Okay. Okay. We have a very special promotion. We surely do. And um, that is uh, related to Dutch Mania in 2023. Yes. Um, when we uh, went to um, the Netherlands in 2019, uh, we featured a required pattern um, that uh, was to win a free ticket. To right. um, go with us. Correct. Okay. Correct. And that's what I was looking for. Uh -huh. um, we're going to handle things a little bit differently. Correct. But um, I need to explain the details of it. Correct. Um, the laws of Ohio and the United States yeah. may be different from the laws of the Netherlands in this regard. Correct. So we've all seen ads announcing some prize, mm -hmm. and in small print, mainly on television, yeah. you'll see the phrase, no purchase necessary, necessary, right? To win. And the reason that that language is there is because if a purchase was necessary or required under at least Ohio law, that would be like running a lottery. An illegal lottery. <clears throat> now, we got away with it in 2019. Uh, we're not going to. We're not going to take any chances because we didn't know any better. We didn't know right. any better. And um, several people alerted us um, after the fact or Correct. close to the end, and so forth. Correct. And it all worked out. And we, of course, Norma came with us. It was fabulous. Right. So, um, going forward, though the um, the exclusive pattern for Dutch Mania is going to be um, totally handled by Twin Peak Primitives. Correct. By the twins. Correct. And um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, they are going to... Hold on. Let me just reread this. Sorry. Um, it says... So basically all of the, like, so there is a chart that you can purchase. When you purchase that chart, which right. we're going to show you today, right? your name will go on a list. Yes. That right. list will be handled by the twins of Twin Peak Primitives and by them alone. Correct. We are going to have absolutely nothing to do with pulling winners and keeping track and right. all the things. Right. We will not be doling out the prize. We will not be doing any of that because right. we cannot... In the United States of America, have a lottery that requires a purchase. Right, right. So we are having the twins handle all of that. Right. And so. if you, so they're handling all the purchaser information, like right. Steph just said. Right. And from that purchaser information, those, that list of buyers, mm -hmm. um, a person will win will win one one their choice of one of these two things right one will be two days of retreat participation at dutch mania right 2023 so whatever that costs will be covered will be covered or or an equal amount of cash equaling 500 $100. euros yes 500 euros okay so and it's whatever the right that you know whatever so they're going to maintain the list. Yes. And um, there you go. Yes. So this chart is, so this is a little bit different than a standard pattern of the week mm -hmm. because this chart is not discounted. Correct. So, um, so, but we wanted to get this information out there so people right. could purchase it so they could be entered to win the prize that the twins are giving Right. Oh, what? Oh, I also have a paper copy, which might be helpful to show. Yes. As, in addition to the picture we're going to insert. Correct. So th they're calling it the Dutch Mania exclusive mm -hmm. chart or whatever. Right. But to me, that makes it sound like it's exclusive to the retreat attendees, and it is not. That's it's true. It's just like this is the chart that they've designed for this event. Right. So, um, 
so when you hear that it's the retreat exclusive, it I don't think it means what to them what it's exclusive to the to the, to the event. To the event. Correct. Not to just attendees of the event. Correct. Okay. Correct. So whether and, this will be released to the masses that like that where near workshops can sell that, I don't know. Right, right. It's too far in the future maybe to even talk about that. Okay. But um Let's insert. No, 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 let's let's just show this instead of the picture. You think it'll be yeah, better? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So this is called Dutch Calendar, mm -hmm. and it is absolutely adorable. Um, this picture depicts the twelve months as being stitched on twelve separate um, smalls. Yep. Although with the borders. Just like with the I'll Be Home series they did, mm -hmm. um, you could put them all on one be so um, piece of fabric as well. So this is Dutch yeah. calendar. Here. So January. Yeah. February. March. April with the tulips. May. June with the windmill. July. August was a lighthouse. And then you guys look at September. Look, it says, I don't know if you can read that, but it says JKS, and that's me, and that's Pam. Because we're going in September. I'm deceased. It's so cute. And then October, November, and December. Yep. And so they're so, so, so cute. So, um, when you purchase it, you get all of, all 12 of the months. There's another picture of them like that. You can do it that way. Um, and where's the cover page with the information I said? Mm -hmm. Um, so we don't have a like traditional pattern of the week this week. Right. Because we wanted to focus on this. But they're coming out with some real cute things and we'll get back to that next time. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> so, this is um, the chart that we wanted to talk to you about today. So, you can purchase this chart. Do we know if hard copies are available? I believe they are. Okay. Um, I know that... From the Daily Stitcher. Yeah. Um, okay. She's keeping her shop open. She's having um, some surgery, okay. but she's keeping her shop open. So, okay. Okay. she should get them go. fairly soon. I can't yeah. remember the date of her surgery, but... Um, so... If you want to get your hands on the Dutch calendar, mm -hmm. so your name can go on the list to win one of those prizes. Right. Win the grand prize, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, then you uh, you can only get it at one of three places. You can get it as a PDF download from either the Twin Peak Primitives website or their Etsy shop, both of which are linked below. Or you can get a hard copy from the Daily Stitcher, which is an online needle workshop here in the States. So all that information will be linked below, um, and you should be good to go. Yeah. So. And we're, we're not going to talk about this every video. Yeah. Um, it might be like a once a month thing. We might do it once a month. Yeah. Um, just as a reminder. Yes. But we won't be pulling the winners. Correct. And um, totally... The twins, being based in the Netherlands, are going to handle yes. all of that and announcing the winner and so forth. Um, they do have a Fans of Twin Peak Primitives Facebook group, mm -hmm. and they have a presence on Instagram. So I'm sure they'll use both of those platforms to share the winning to share about it and yeah. to announce the winners when it gets closer to the time. Absolutely, um, absolutely. Uh, they will announce the winner August 1st, 2023. Yeah, so that's a ways away. Yeah. But we just wanted to get the word out. It's Absolutely. adorable. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. So. So, wait, before you do the next thing. Yeah. So, there's no mail call this week. Mm -mm. Not because um, we don't want to do it. We just don't have any. Yeah. So, we'll save some, save whatever we get for next week's video. Then, we're, our standard haul portion is just going to be about Galleria. Yeah. Okay. And then if, if we have regular haul, that will um, all be all next that'll week. That will all be next week. Yes, exactly. That's how we're going to split it out. Exactly. So, um, let's talk about um, our trip to Galleria. Sure. 
That's so what we, we were all in a t in a Forerunner, yeah, Toyota Forerunner <laughs> that I rented. There were so four of us. It was a Toyota Forerunner. <laughs> I had, drove. It had one thousand five hundred and forty-two miles on it. It was brand new. And a cup holders in the back. <laughs> I'm just not an ad for Ford. I mean Toyota. Um, We're definitely not an ad for we, Ford. No, it's not an ad for Ford. But um, we were very comfortable. There were four of us uh, women, and um, we had cargo space in the back. <laughs> Can we get out of the car? Four, four women. <laughs> Two All right. So, who? <laughs> then we got to Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait a minute. So, who knew about Cranberry Bog? Okay, Stephanie, of course I did. Stephanie knew about Cranberry Bog. Now, let me tell you, about, this was so funny. So, we're in Indiana, and we're heading towards... St. Louis. St. Louis. Headed <laughs> west. <laughs> I'm driving. <laughs> I'm driving. I'm sleeping. Stephanie, and then I wake up, says, okay, we need to stop at this shop in Terre Haute, Indiana. Yeah. Okay. So, we plug it into our GPS... And we are in a residential yes, area of Terre Haute. We are in the suburbs. And we are following like... the GPS. And we park the car next to what looks like a home. It's a <laughs> home. An actual residence. And Stephanie says. What did I say? I forget what I said. You said, well, I'm going to put on my <laughs> just, just keep stitching shirt so they know who I am. No, that's not what I said. Well, something, something like. Yeah. She assumed, this is the point, she assumed that because this shop was clearly on, on uh, 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 sort of off small, the beaten path. off the beaten path, better way to put it. Wow, I'm going to get myself in trouble. Yeah, you're right. Um, that maybe they didn't, you know, there are a lot of LNSs out there that... It was my StitchCon sweatshirt, I think, and because I said something to the effects of... I want them to ask me about StitchCon. That's what it was. That's what it was. It wasn't our channel. It was StitchCon. Yeah, okay. it was StitchCon. All right. So we park the car and we get out. And the first people up the steps was myself, Katie, and Melissa. Okay? Yeah. And we open the door and I thought the woman was going to levitate. Stop. Yeah. Lovely lady named Marilyn. Yeah. I said, I'll remember that. That was my mother's name. Yeah. And she just about lost it. Yeah. And I thought, I, I guess she knows. I guess she knows. She looked straight at me and went, Stop! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm her older sister. <laughs> um, her lovely, lovely yes, time. Yes, she was lovely. She was as gracious as could be and yes. so excited to see us, meet us, etc. We um, enjoyed shopping at her store. And um, uh, had a lovely visit yes. with her and yes. um, can't Absolutely. say enough. Right. So if you are in the Terre Haute area um, or it's a stop on your way someplace else, I'm not sure what else Terre Haute has to offer. I just but, remember that's where Larry Bird was from. That's all I remember. to the but. Bird family. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're going to show you what we bought from at Maryland Cranberry Bog at Cranberry Bog, Bog Cottage yes. in Terre Haute, Indiana. Yes. Who's going to go first? You. Okay. Um, this is from a designer new to me, and I'm not sure. I think she's in Italy, right? Yep. And her um, designer name, yes, Italian cross-stitch designer named and this just kind of tickles me my fanny <laughs> that's literally the name i don't it. know if that means something different in italy but i know what it means in america <laughs> anyway this is called happy winter and i think there was a model because okay. i don't think i would have purchased this based on this picture but um i don't know if you can see but it is a cute little like salt box house and a cluster of winter trees and it's very sweet. I think she might have had a model, which would have sold it for me. So this is from my fanny. I got the chart. Okay, when I put into Google Translate my fanny, it comes out in an English as my fanny. Okay, so so that's what we got. Fannies are the same worldwide. Yeah, they are apparently. Anyway, and then I got this Lucy Beam Love and Stitches, 
I don't believe it's new. Maybe it's new. Yes. I am typically Okay. I'm typically not a mermaid girl. No. Um, but uh, there was something about this that, and I do think now that I see this, that there was a model. So I think there was a model for both of these. Yeah. Otherwise, and this is called Bubbles Under the Sea from Lucy Beam from Rebecca Nolan from Becky Nolan. Isn't that cute with the boat and it's the really cute. and she's holding a um a staff. No, it's a not trident. called a trident. There we go. Wow, that's three new words, Steph. Uh, You're okay, going to graduate I, soon. I knew what trident was. <laughs> I knew what trident was. You came through on trident. Thank you so much. Okay, and the octopus. I went to school. I think it's adorable. And the little crab, of course. I like the little octopus with a blue head. And I just think it's just sweet. And I'd never seen it before. There so. you go. Beautiful. Okay, so is that all I bought from her? That is, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So then um, I was the person who left my entire Notions pouch at home. I didn't know that. Yep. Yep. So um, my, oh. I mean, I had my tube, my Kia tube. Yeah. But like I have a side Notions pouch oh, that oh, I have oh. like my primary scissors, my needles, and, and you my left things. All that... I left it on my I... chair. This is the first time hearing about it, folks. Well, I talked about it all weekend, but that's fine. <laughs> um, so in there were my highlighter strips. So I bought some from Marilyn. Mm -hmm. And then um, she had a pretty good selection of fabric. Mm -hmm. And this is from Seraphim Fabrics. This is 36 count Boston. Nice. So I got a fat quarter of that. Mm -hmm. Then she, um, so Jan Alexander, who is the designer behind Tree of Life Samplings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is from Terre Haute. Yeah. And so there was a lot, a ton of Tree of Life sampling models, mm -hmm. including the model for this, which is the 1831 Brick House Sampler. And this picture isn't the best, but in the shop tour video that I took, you'll see it. Yeah. And I just thought it was really sweet. I liked it a lot. So, the, border. the border is all these little buds. Yep. Cute. Yep, very cute. And then this is a new to me designer. Never heard of them before in my mm -hmm. life. Called Handmade Stitch Works by Jenny. Jenny Lane Jenny? Maybe Jenny, Jenny Lane. Look on the back. Jenny Lane. Yeah, Jenny Lane. Yep. And so this is called St. Nicholas. Isn't that cute? And so I don't know if you can tell, but his beard is done in all French knots. I will not be doing that. Absolutely not. I don't know. And I would like to continue to stitch afterwards. So I will be doing those in <laughs> cross stitches. Be yeah, because if I were to do them on French knots, that'd be the last thing I ever stitched. Yeah. I'd give up the stitch after that. So um I just think that's so cool. She's in Phoenix, Arizona. I mean, this is from twenty twenty one. So, so been around a minute, but never heard of that design. Handmade stitch works by Jenny Lane. Yeah. So that's Adorable. cool. I love that. I think yeah. it's very cute and quirky. Mm -hmm. And then this is uh, one of the new releases from With Thy Needle and Thread called Be Ye Thankful. Yeah. Super cute. Yep. Super cute. So thank a you. huge thank you to Marilyn. Yes. yes. Um, we had an absolutely wonderful time you did. Um, meeting you. Uh, I had not met met her but we had cross pads at market which was awesome to hear right. um and so it was great that we got to go to her shop mm -hmm. um i would stitch everything that she has in that shop it is very very me vibes yes so but if you were headed in her direction just just be aware it is a residential she lives there yeah it's a residential area you're not lost you'll find it it's right on the corner easy peasy yes and as you'll tell from the video she also has like wool and rug hooking and things like that. Yeah. So there's a lot more than just Yeah, she just had a stitch. rug hooking um group cool in there either the day before or before we got there that day. Awesome. So awesome. um are you gonna insert yes the shop so tour? Now? We will um insert the shop tour and um also if I can remember to do it, the picture of the four of us. Um yeah. From Cranberry Box. Cranberry Box. So we will insert the shop tour video Hello, here. Friends. 
I'm outside. Everybody watch out. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so we are on our way to New York Galleria in St. Charles, Missouri. Uh, but we made a little side detour in Terre Haute, Indiana. Um, to this cute little place called the Cranberry Bog Cottage. And um, it's so cute. And I want to show it to you. So um, this is the outside. Look at the cute little sign. Look at Oh, it's so cute, you guys. So we're gonna go in and I'll show you around, okay? Okay, bye. <music>
Okay. So, um, so now let's talk about Galleria. Yeah. So, um, if you have never heard of New York Galleria ever before in your life, right? Um, let me give you just a quick rundown of Galleria. So, um, there is a shop in Illinois, Northern Illinois, called Inspired Needle. The owner of that shop, her name is Kathy. She is lovely. We love her to death. She is the creator or uh, main organizer of Needlework Galleria, which is held in St. Charles, Missouri, which is just outside of St. Louis, Missouri. And it is always held in like the September, October time frame. Uh, and it is held at the, it's Embassy, right? Embassy Suites. Embassy yeah. Suites, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're unfamiliar with an Embassy Suite, the best way that I can describe it is it's like a hollowed out hotel. So all the rooms are kind of in a circle. Mm -hmm. And then um, each of the rooms on one floor is like the world of. So the world of Fabrics by Stephanie, the world of Rosewood Manor, the world of the Silver Needle. The world of da 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 da. Yeah. Okay. It is set up just like National Needlework Market. It's obviously a little bit smaller than Market, right? But it's set up exactly the same. Yeah. And it is open to the public. The public. Mm -hmm. So you go in and you shop and you buy what you want and you can see models and um it's basically just a weekend of shopping and stitching and fun there is a website that you yes. can go to that we'll link below yeah um you do buy a ticket yep and they also have classes and what they call round robins which are like um, multiple designers who parade through in front of you and leave you with a project. Yes. Um, all of those cost extra. Right, on top of the registration. Um, the hotel has complimentary breakfast uh -huh. and complimentary happy cocktail hour. hour, happy hour. Yep. Right. Yep. Um, and uh, there are also yep. two rooms that are set aside by Kathy mm -hmm. for stitching. I had someone comment or send me a question uh, since we've been home. I thought Needlework Galleria was a purchasing opportunity. It is. I didn't know it was a retreat. It's kind of both. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, because truthfully, <coughs> I think you said this, you got more stitching done at Galleria than you have at any retreat <clears throat> you've been to this fall. Yeah. And yeah. we still have two more yet to come. So, right, right, right. Um, it really Technical is. Answer. And then I think there was a group, I think from Missouri, from Missouri, yeah, um, central Missouri, who, who like rented a room, who rented a separate room. They kind of wanted to be with their pals. And yeah. uh, but they circulated with sure. the, the rest of the stitchers. There's usually a freebie table there yeah, um, to take advantage of. And um, there is food in the hotel we door dashed a couple yeah. times we went out to dinner we went out to dinner with our table yeah and um so it is uh it has always been something we thoroughly enjoy sure 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 absolutely so um so it is very much <laughs> a combination of the two things yeah um so you kind of like at least for me and Pam, you, we, what we do is we'll spend some time stitching and then we'll go upstairs and shop. So shopping starts on Thursday evening at, or, and they call it early bird shopping. And so that is usually the most manic of the days of shopping. Yeah. And then, um, it opens again Friday morning and it's all day Friday and all day Saturday as well. And then, um, it ends at like five o'clock on Saturday and then, um, there's that. So, um, and then, so we go kind of like back and forth from shopping and stitching and then someone else will go upstairs and then they'll bring it back down to the table and be like, look what I got. And then we have to go back up and get it. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a lot of enabling happening as well. Yes. yes. So there's that. Right. So, um, we obviously have a hall to show, but before we, um, go through the hall, I also just want to say a huge thank you to Kathy and all the Inspired Needle staff oh, yeah. for all of the hard work that they put into making Galleria a possibility and to all of the designers and vendors and makers who 
took the time out of their very busy schedules to come to St. Charles and do the show. Um, it's, it's a lot of work and it's, we're not ignorant to that. So we very much appreciate you being a part Absolutely. of New York Galleria. Um, it's one of our favorite things to do every fall. So, yes. um, so now let's show you the stuff we bought. Yeah. Okay. So, um, can I go first? Sure. Okay. If that's okay with you, I guess. This is my bag over here? Yeah, it is. Okay. So while I'm talking, if you want to get your stuff. Okay. It's it's organized for the most part. Yep. So, hold on, let me pause this. Okay, we got our ish together. So, um, you do get um, a nice little brochure, um, welcome thing, and it has the name of all the shops that are there and then space for you to take notes, um, which is super, super helpful. Um, and this is really nice. You can go back and look and yeah. see all the things. Yeah. And then, um, in as a welcome gift, we also got, um, one of these really, really cute thread bed booklets from dot dot goose designs. And she even put the little New York Galleria thing on there, which is super cute. Um, so that's awesome. And then everyone got a free chart, um, but everyone's was different. So mine is just this cat one. Um, I think Pam's already put hers away, wherever it is. Okay, so I bought from a few different shops. Did I buy from everyone? No, but that's okay. I spent enough money, I can assure you that. So uh, the first one I'm going to show you is Needle Bling Designs. Um, we love Teresa. We've known Teresa now for four plus years. We met her at Galleria four years ago, so we love her. Um, and this is a gift for a friend. And the model is just so cute. And you get the chart and then the stuffs. Yep. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then she did the round robin. Or she did one of the round robins. There's usually more than one. I think there were three this year. And um, she had extra like kits that she was selling after her round robin was over. And I had to have this. So it's called Tom Turkey. Look at that though. I just think he's so cute. And then all the stuffs to stitch it. And she, in case you did not know, she is dyeing fabric as well. And this was her newest color as of August this year. And I got 36 count creme de menthe. It's a, it's more green than showing up. It yeah. looks a little evergreeny or piney, but. Um, it's more yellow green than it's showing on the screen. It's showing more bluish green. Yes. But it's really yellowy green. It's lovely. Yeah, it's a good green. It is. <clears throat> Um, and then she also had some, um, some of the classics like Vintage Country Mocha. So I got a fat quarter of 40 count Vintage Country Mocha. Um, and then also from her, I got 36 count Shrekies Tan. In a fat that was quarter. a popular one from her too. Yeah, we saw a lot of Shrekies Tan at Cube Six as well. Mm -hmm. And then um, one thing that I did this year that I have never done in, in, any years past, is I got in line for the Thursday early bird shopping at Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. Smart. Uh, I've always wanted to do it, and the reason that you want to do it is because people buy a lot of fabric, because there's no limits to how much you can buy, so, right. and so I knew going in there that that's what I was going to do, is I was going to buy some fabric from her. Mm -hmm. um, and so, welcome to my fabric haul. Mm -hmm. So, this is... And these are mostly fat quarters. So this is 40 count chocolate milk. That's the color that you're doing October on. Yeah. But this is 40 count, obviously. Then this is 36 count toasted almond. Is that a little bit lighter than the chocolate milk? So I'll show you. Toasted almond chocolate oh, milk. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Then this is 36 count winter wishes. That's popular from her too. Like a blue gray. Mm -hmm. um, I also got 36 count chocolate milk. We like chocolate milk. Can you tell? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yummy. So good. Then this is 36 count friendship green. It's like a light mint green. Mm -hmm. Pretty. So pretty for Christmas or for 
Easter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is what I got from Powers by Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Then the last shop that I bought from was the Silver Needle. So um, in addition to designers and fabric dyers, et cetera, et cetera, that go to Galleria, um, both Inspired Needle and the Silver Needle from Tulsa, Oklahoma, um, they set up shop and are vendors as well. Mm -hmm. So the girls at Silver Needle bring damn near the whole store. Yeah. I'm not really the whole store. They don't, but, but it's so much wonderful. to see. Wonderful. So, um, when we get all the way back to the bedrooms where there was fabric on the beds. Correct. Correct. So speaking of fabric on the beds, <laughs> um, I know that this is 40 count fiber on a whim. I don't know what the color is called. I think it might be affogato. Was that from silver needle? Yeah. Okay. But I don't have a tag cause they didn't get tags. Right. So unless you bought the whole piece, yeah. um, like, or bought the remainder like this. Yeah. So um, this is fabric from Atomic Ranch Fabrics. Um, and this is called Vanilla Cream. And so I bought a fat quarter in 40 count and 36 in, or a fat half in 36 count. And I know it looks like just white, but it's not, I promise. No, it's cream. It's, it's a beautiful it's cream. It's really like just such a, we, um, we sell this at Keepsakes, which is why I bought it from somewhere else as opposed to Keepsakes. Um, because I don't want to take our stock of it. And um, we sell rings and rings of vanilla cream. Yep. So, uh, then I got, the, so they bring a ton of models, as you'll see in the videos. And this is the, um, this is because of the models. This is Be Kind Sampler from Stacy Nash. Yeah, this Awfully, awfully beautiful. The border is the thing. The border is, is the thing. Is the vibe. Yep. Uh, and then this one is an oldie but goodie from Palm Street Samplers. This is from 2011 called A Colonial Garden. How sweet is that? Mm -hmm. This it's, it's just a turn Okay. 36 count Black Forest. Wow. From Lakeside. Yeah, right. Um... <laughs> Then this is from Samplers Not Forgotten called Banquet, not Bank. Banquet, can you tell I'm hungry? Bouquet, Bouquet 1813 kit. So that is the pillow. And I've seen this come through keepsakes for our finishers like multiple times. And I love it. I like the navy blues and the pastel. And you get all the stuff. So, can't beat it. Then I also got this really sweet little kit from Priscilla's Pocket called Stoneware Kitten. Pin pillow. Pin pillow kit. You get the chart, linen floss, and the trim. Isn't that sweet? It is awfully sweet. Oh, I like him. Mm -hmm. And then one thing that I always look for in Silver Needle, and I hesitate to say this because I don't want anyone to get my sweet, sweet tip, but... Um, they have retreats in the summer. Actually, they have retreats throughout the year. But where they bring in designers. Yeah. If there are any leftover kits from those retreats, they bring them to Galleria. Yep. And I like to buy them at Galleria. So, uh, this one, I think, though, is part of their Circle of Friends Club. Oh. Which I need to just join already and shut up about it. But, so this is from the Scarlet House. and it is I belong to it now. Oh, so this was from last year's Probably. Circle of Friends. Yeah. Yeah, I belong to Circle of Friends now. With the drawn thread. Yes. Is it always a drawn thread? That I don't know. Okay. So this is called... I don't think it's just the drawn thread. No? Okay. We lack information. On that. <laughs> on that. We have information on other things, but... Um, okay, well, I bet maybe this is... I haven't opened it to read the paperwork yeah. yet. So, anyway, this anyway. is from the Scarlet House... And it is called Autumn Garden. It's beautiful. Love it. Yeah. It's so cute. I love the alphabet going down the side. I yes. love that. Yes. Yep. And you get all the stuffs. All the stuffs. Mm -hmm. I do not know if they have these left. You're going to have to call them. Yeah. Don't go to their website. Call them. Yeah. Tell them I sent you, actually. Yes. Do it. I dare you. Yeah. Tell Mona I said hi. Um, okay. So... That is what I bought at Needlework Galleria. 
Excellent. Pam, what did you buy? Why don't we start with your silver needle haul? Okay, since, since we just talked since about Since we're that. on the topic of silver needle. Um, oh, oh, oh. Is this yes. for this? Yeah, it's for all of the stuff that's in there. Here, let me see. Why don't you help with that? One. Yeah, okay. So why don't you show the other stuff then? Okay. From them. So one of the wonderful things that they that Silver Needle does is they bring and hang on a wall a wonderful selection of Mill Hill kits. It's like the Mill Hill wall, and you just stand there in in awe right. of it. And right? just draw over yourself. And um, one of the things that they had on the wall was um, this Mill Hill kit. I guess it's part of a series called Curly Girl Design. Yeah. And um, I think this is just called Made Of because the verse on the bottom says, it's the things that we are made for that give us the best opportunities to find out what we are made of. Ooh, Ooh deep. Deep, deep, put, deep. Put your boots on, people. It's getting I deep. didn't necessarily buy it for that sentiment. <clears throat> I bought it because it's a ship in a bottle. Hello. Are you going to do it with the quote on it? Oh, yeah. Oh. But, I mean, that's what Drew caught my eye. Yeah, 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 sure. Not like, oh, I really like that thought. That's really deep. Oh, I hmm. wanted the ship in the bottle. And then up at the top it says, when you find what you do with with all your heart, you find yourself. Aww. And then on the back of the boat it says, you've got this. Oh, cute. I like all of it. Okay. I know. And then... <clears throat> I don't know. We were sitting with Chris and Jane from Boss Stitchers, of course. And right. I don't know whether... I think I found this and then Chris went and got hers. Yeah. There was a lot of that going on. Exactly. You know, somebody would go shopping, come back, show and tell. Oh, right. I need that. You go back upstairs. Yes. But this is from um, Marine Life Quartet, of which there is a... Four. Four. Yeah. Quartet, quartet. Quartet. More words. Yeah. Um, there is a jellyfish, a dolphin, a turtle, and... A lobster. A lobster. So, had to get that. And then Chris went up and got it. Do you it love that it's purple, though? Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to change it to red? No, I'm not going to change it. And then, who got, got these first? Melissa? Uh, yeah. So, again, okay. Melissa, this is the new Santas from Mill Hill. And uh, they're called Timberline Santas. Love that. So, there is... If you've already watched the Boss Stitchers, you've seen a lot of this stuff. We share a lot of the same taste. Um, this is my favorite, um, and I think it's Chris and Jane's too, because there's the tree all tied up on the sled, and this is called Norway Spruce Santa. Isn't that cute? Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. And... This is after he's untied the tree and put it up. This is called, it's a different tree, because this is Scotch Pine Santa. Look at him with his axe. Where's his axe? Oh, yeah. He's, Where's his axe? Where's his axe? He's just cut the tree down. Oh, yeah, no, so he's out in the snow cutting it down. The tree down. So you I get have, him out of order. My chron chronology is all screwed up. And um, this is him hauling it home, but again, it's a different tree. Douglas fir Santa. He's got the tree oh, on the his bunny. shoulders. So I had to get those. Of Melissa, course. Melissa brought them to the table. Of course. And I was, oh shoot. Lindy told me the name of this. Shoot, shoot, shoot. It's something like honey something. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Sorry. And then I went, made a special trip back and asked her and she yep. told me. Yep. Don't know what it is. Oh crap. Okay. Well. Sorry. Um, this, there was a model for this, and so that sold it for me. This is from our friend Jeanette Douglas, and it is called Vintage Acorns. And it is stunning. It's so cute. Stunning yes. in person. Stunning in person. So cute. So I bought a, what, a fat half? I think I got a fat half. Yeah, of this. Yeah. Then I realized I didn't have a tag. So yeah. then I made another trip up. Lindy was still cutting fabric in the back room, yeah. and I said... I just bought this, and I want to know what the name of it is. And she very graciously told me, and now I've forgotten already. But 
Um, well, it was a minute ago. What's in a name? You know, what's in a name? Chocolate um, spice. Ooh, spice might have been part of it now that you said Spicy that. mustard? I don't think spicy mustard. I don't know. Anyway, this is it. Oh my God. It's <laughs> gorgeous. But I don't know the name of it. But it's from Atomic. Okay. So. Atomic Ranch. So, go to Atomic and find. Stop calling them just Atomic. It's Atomic Ranch. Atomic Ranch. Yeah. I mean, the very. Yeah, look it's really this gorgeous. Thing, it just changes every few inches. It is beautiful. And I got a fat half of that. Yes, you sure did. So, that was my silver needle haul. No, it was not. Because you also got the kit from oh, yeah. their summer retreat. Oh, okay. So this is the main kit, and I didn't want to unpack it all. Okay. From Plum Street Samplers. Okay. And this is, I don't know what it's called, called, because it's in there, and I didn't want to unpack it oh, all. Oh, let's unpack it. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, so it's called Christmas in July, and it's from um, Plum Street Samplers, and it says... God bless this land from hill to sea. Christ be the gift to set us free. Sorry for the glare, but this is as far as I'm going to go in terms of unwrapping. Here. Okay, there you go. I got the full kit, including the mm. floss ring. And it's so gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And then show them the front cover of that. Oh, so that's, this is just a digital. It's a digital rendering. Digital but, rendering, but it gives you an idea. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, yeah. I like that kind of color fabric a background as opposed to this color fabric because you can't really see the white on that. Uh, well. But don't whatever. trust a picture. As well. And it's then this picture. came with it too. This is the Freedom Pin Roll. Wow, what a deal! Yeah. Where liberty dwells, there is my country. Yeah, I love that expression. Oh, I love it. I love that. With all the stuffs. Yeah. Okay. So she got that full kit from Silver Needle as well. And that was from a prior event that they had? That was from this past summer's event. Okay, cool. Yeah, went into all the stuffs. Right. So that, yep, that was all your so Silver Needle. So that was Needle. my Silver Needle. So the same goes for this. I don't know if they have any left of yeah, this. Yeah, you have to call them. Um, both of those kits that we showed um, were like event exclusives right so you're gonna have to call them and see eventually they will be released to the masses as they say but um not before like at least a year is up so yeah yeah typically yeah but this way we don't have to wait and you get all the stuff did i buy this wow i bought it for you oh you didn't know i'd already ordered some correct okay so this is a what fat quarter yes uh from uh, Fabrics by Stephanie, and it's Jamie's quilt, Jamie's. quilt, kilt, kilt, kilt. Okay, Jamie's kilt. I actually have some on order from her. Probably another fat quarter. I don't know. Who knows? But you needed it for a project. I think so. Yeah, I, yeah, I know so. I think so. I don't remember what project. So that was what I got, even though Stephanie already bought it for me. Yeah. Um, I got Ween Beans from Teresa Needle Bling. This is very popular from her. Yes. And also very popular from her, I got a fat quarter. These are 32 count. That's yeah. my happy place. Yeah. Uh, pumpkin pie. I mean, that's the color of pumpkin pie. It literally is pumpkin pie. Truth? Yes. I um, I wish I had gotten some because I don't think I have any. Okay. Um, this I got from Rosewood. Um, and I just thought it was cute. I love cemeteries. Genealogy. Hello. Um, and it's called um, R.I.P. As in rest in peace, <laughs> R.I.P. on a pumpkin. I thought that was rip on a pumpkin. I th Sorry for the glare, Pam. You know what you could stitch that on? What Jamie's coat? Oh, I like the blue. Okay, never mind. What's a model stitched on? Haunted. Stitch. Yeah. Which we have. We have some haunted. Okay, great. This is great news. Are I'm, you being facetious? I am being one hundred percent serious. That's great news. I like the blue. It yeah. looks like nighttime. I know. Okay, so that's from Rosewood. Rosewood Manor. And, um, oh my goodness, this was a big hit. Good for Barbie. This is from Pedal Pusher. Yeah. And it's called Harper's Forest. It sure so is. So this was another one somebody brought to the table, and I went, see ya, I'll be right back. Excuse me, BRB. BRB. And this is Harper's Forest. And when I went up and visited with Barbie for a few minutes, 
She I said, what's the significance of Harper's Forest? Who is Harper and why does he have a forest? And she said, Charlie Harper. She was inspired to design this based on a Charlie Harper print. Well, Charlie Harper, Cincinnati, Ohio. I mean, truly. Even more reason to buy it. Exactly. Okay. We love that. This is from... It's... <laughs> oh, Inspired Needle. Oh, yeah. All right. So let's talk about my Inspired Needle haul. Yeah, let's talk about um, it. All of these are based on models. Yes. Um, I thought this was just adorable, and it's from Teslons. I bet this is probably my only number two Teslon design after the one I got on the way to Michigan City. Oh, yeah. Remember? Yep. Yep. And that was Christmas themed too. It was. So this is called Christmas with Friends. Yep. So colorful and lovely. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yes. And these, um, you know, I could open a Buy the Bay store. I mean, you could. If I was willing to give any of these up. Truly. Mountain View Bay, from our good friend Donna, model was amazing. I love it. And Bayside Bungalow. From by the bay. Yeah, yeah. And, and I got yeah, and then that yeah. And then this piece of driftwood from um, Fabrics by Stephanie. Yeah. And it's in the plastic. I'm not gonna take it out, but it's another great color from Stephanie. It sure is. All right, that was my inspired needle haul. It was. And then um, Silk Weavers. Silk Weavers was doing a land office business. <laughs> and so I bought along with everybody else. Now, I didn't go in there and buy regular Zweiger or anything right off the roll. I wanted what they dyed, right? Yeah. So this is... Yeah, Silk Rivers is their dyed fabric from Zweiger. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So this is Autumn Leaves. This is Purely Primitive. I love Pure the Primitive. Yeah. This is Royal Shimmer. Royal Shimmer. What a what a name. That would be a good blue to put that graveyard yeah. in. Yeah. Ooh, that would be good. Possibly. No. Co cobblestone. Oh, blue on that other one. All right. Okay. And putty. Putty. So I think I got um, 18 by 32 is... It's like a little bit bigger than a fat, hat, fat quarter. These are all 18 by 32. No, 18 by 26. Yeah, that's fat quarter. Is a fat quarter. And I got a 16 by 18 of the autumn leaves. So there you go. I based it not on size, but Good on color. Um, sure. colors that were there dying. Absolutely. Because Absolutely. Um, you don't see that too often. Absolutely. So that was my Galleria haul. Okay. So, so then that was all of our haul. Yeah. Add, Add to cart. cart. Okay. So now at this particular juncture, mm -hmm. um, I did take some video yeah. of a few of the different shops right. um, that were at Galleria. I didn't make it to all of them. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, but we'd be here for a day and a half if I'd done that too. Yeah. So um, it is at this point where I will insert all of the Galleria videos mm -hmm. that I took while we were there. I'm going to yeah. insert those here.
Okay. All right. Now, um, we're down to this, or yep. do you want to talk about this first? No, let's do that first. Okay. Um, and hold on one second. We have a slew. A slew. Google slew. We have a slew of folks to thank this time. Um, I think primarily because we've been away so long. I would agree. So um, these are folks who have taken advantage of the link below uh, to um, contribute some money. It's called Buy Me a Coffee. One of the links is. The other one is called Ko-Fi or coffee. Mm -hmm. want to say and uh, we use that for framing, finishing, and postage. And we look at it as a way for you to support our channel and our journey uh, without monetizing our channel. And um, these are the folks we would like to thank. Yes, please. Publicly. Thank you very much to these seven folks. Pam's going to do seven, then I'm going to do some. Yeah. Okay. Karen. April, Jenny, another Karen, Rachel, Cheryl, and Angela. And thank you so much to April, Catherine, Katie, Cindy, Cynthia, and Marianne. Yes. So thank you all thank so, you so much. Thank you very, very much. Um, but for the PayPal screw up with the invoices we had planned to go to um finley on thursday to leave some framing I did not know that and of course that had to be wiped off the plans yes, because absolutely. of everything else yes. but we will get some more framing um we will. left off um up there at some point absolutely. hopefully yes probably truthfully not until november Truthfully. Truthfully, yeah. Okay. Once we're back from all of our retreats. So, plans. Speaking of that. Yeah, our trips. Okay, so we've turned the page to a new month. Would you like to know what we're going to do this month? Wow. Well, let me tell you. So, a week from yesterday, we will be participating in the afternoon session of Friend Stitch. Yes. With Heart and Hand at Bent Creek. We are so excited. This is our third Friend Stitch. Mm -hmm. I, I love it so much. So um, people have asked how to how to get involved with Friend Stitch. The best advice I gave folks I'll give you is get on Heart and Hands newsletter. Yes, that's Cecilia. She and the Bent Creek girls do Friend Stitch. Mm -hmm. It's a Zoom. It's fantastic. It's so good. That would be the easiest. Is subscribe to the Heart and Hand newsletter. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. So we're super it's super too late for this year. Yeah, because um, it's next week. So um, we are very much looking forward to it. It is Christmas themed again, so I can't wait. Yeah. Um, so we're and both Pam and I are participating, so it'll be great. Yep. Um, and then, so that's Saturday. Then Sunday we're gonna make a video. Then Monday I work. Tuesday I work, and then Wednesday we're gonna wake up really early, go to the airport, and fly to Salt Lake City to go to Stitch West. Yeah. So we, we have been holding that under our hats for quite a while. And so it's so exciting to be able to share it with you guys. It will be an absolute blast. I'm we so excited. So excited. <laughs> I could come of out of my skin. Of course, you probably know that Kefren and Victoria from Stitchy Fix and Stephanie yeah. are the Gleesome Threesome. I mean, they <laughs> are. It's a problem. Okay. No, it's not a problem. <laughs> it's it's wonderful. It is great. Yeah. And um, so we'll all be there. Deb and Kef, of course, host it. And then all the mamas get to hang out, like Chris and Pam and Debbie. It's going to be beautiful. And it's guys. just a great, great thing. And um, I want to buy Shepherd's Bush out. So all of you people who are at Shepherd's Bush for the retreat this weekend, can you leave me some stuff? Thank you. Yeah. I think that Shepherd's Bush probably plans ahead for their own retreat, knowing that Stitch West comes soon after. Uh, yeah. They're, they they This isn't their first rodeo. Correct. So, yeah. So we are so so excited. We, we are joined, very excited. We like slid very silently into the Facebook group, and then someone noticed we were there, and it went yeah. a little while. But anyway, it will be the first time we have been on an airplane since we went to the Netherlands in yes. 2019. Yes, I'm not looking forward to being squished into an airline seat. No. But, but we have direct flights, Pam. Yeah, direct flight, so it should be good. Got our rental car. We got our hotel room. When we went there, once we get there, it's going to be a blast from start to finish. I'm just going to sleep on Kev's couch. Okay. So, so that will do so it. So excited. 
Um, we wanted to um, get this done before yes. uh, some things are happening in a couple of minutes. Yeah. And um, and we need to eat some dinner. And, and I'm tired. And we need to eat. We're tired. We're hungry. We're yeah. thirsty. We're all of those things. All the things. We hope that you are doing well. We hope that you are looking forward to getting some uh, great stitching in all the cells, all the all the seasonal stitching, yeah. all the things, right? I love autumnal stitching. Yeah, everybody, I most everybody does. So um, we will be back next Sunday. Yes. And uh, we will be more or less um, talking about things we didn't have time for this uh, week absolutely. and getting kind of back oh my in gosh, our Can groove. you imagine if we'd shown real, uh, or not real, yeah. but like our We'd other still hall. be sitting here and the sun would be coming up. Oh, it would be terrible. It would be. And I heard that burp. Thank you so much. So, uh, the wheels are starting to come off the bus. Yeah. It's time to uh, bid you adieu. Adieu. Let's, let's park the bus. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. In yes. the meantime, I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Bye. Bye.